nuggets. Da fluga it is. Whoa! All right, well, we about to go fishing. All right, out here, trying to catch some of these perches. Just had a couple bites, so I figured I'd turn on the camera. All right. All right, we got a decent little bluegill. Not a monster bluegill, but a nice bluegill. All right, here we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's a nice size one. This is the third one I caught. Been kind of slow. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this is probably one of the most aggravating fish that's ever been created, unless they're big and they put up a good fight. And this is a small one, so he's just trying to eat my cork and ruin my day. All right, here we go. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's a nice size one. All right, well, I was fishing that earlier. It didn't work out too well, so I'm gonna sit over here. I got some worms. They didn't seem like they wanted the uh, crickets too much earlier, so see if I can get anything on the worms. Be trying to out here to catch some bluegill and stuff. Yeah, I tried to bass fish earlier, but it was just way too windy, and I wasn't getting bites on anything, really. And uh, I tried and tried, and just didn't work out today so if you get a windy day and you don't want to go fight the wind it's a perfect thing go find your little protected pond or canal or whatever go fish around it go get you some worms and crickets and go fish so let's see what we get that's the thing with perch fishing they always want to just play around with it he play around with it too much though when he gets caught so here we go a baby let's see if we get anything bigger than this Oh, look at that. A little, little, little bitty cog line. Look at that. Three casts, three different cons. That's a little red one. Got all these little, little funky looking marks on his face. I was playing on my phone. Caught a small bluegill. All right. There we go. Little bitty perch, man. But something to pass the time. It's been a tough day, man. It's even tough for catching perch right now. Usually I come out here and I blast them out of here, but oh my god, look at you. See, look at it. It's a tough day for me too because I can't even cast. Got him. As soon as that sucker goes under, you gotta get him, especially these little bait stealers like this. This is all this is good for is little bait. You can hear the oaks rubbing against each other. There we go. Got another one. A little perch, man. They can't get that little worm off as easy as they do the night crawlers. And there we go. That's a good one. Oh, because it's not a perch. It's a bass. And a decent bass at that on a worm. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Check that out. He's pretty lively. That's another tip, especially when you're bass fishing. Look inside the mouth. Their mouth's all messed up in here. They've been eating crawfish. Feel that stomach, too. Man, such a pretty fish. Yeah, once you find the depth that they're at, then you know, it's pretty easy. I just wish there was some big, giant bull bluegill. There we go. You made a fatal mistake. Well, it's not gonna be fatal for you, but you're lucky. And you're lucky you don't become bait for something a hell of a lot bigger and three times as old as I am. That's going to be a clue for a video that's going to be coming up soon. So if you want to see something that's been around since the Civil War, hopefully I can catch one. And that's going to be the bait. Just giving y'all a heads up. Y'all might like that. There we go. Another little bait robber.